Hey Chris, how you doing? Yeah, good Nick, thank you. GPU Audio here, one of the main sponsors of ADC, and um, some interesting stuff. So you've got, like, there's some releases this year. This is good news, right? Yes, we have two releases uh, coming very soon with two of our partner companies. So um, Living Sky has been in um, production for quite a while now with uh, Mantra and Outer Echo. So this is a massive spatial reverb. Right, which allows you to have 64 channels in and 36 channels out. So for surround and production, that could, yeah. Surround, right. immersive stuff, um, people working in installations, people working video game. It's very much a premium spatial reverb yeah. um, with a ton of features, absolutely loaded with features. Um, so is it algorithmic or uh, um, impulse response? I guess it's algorithmic over that sort of size. I think with it, it may well be a combination of both. I know that it uses fifth order ambisonics. Oh, convolution. There is convolution. And convolution, yeah. yeah. So it's produced mainly with Mantra and Outer Echo. They specialize in the kind of spatial uh, movement of each, um, yeah, of the things that are within it. Um, yeah, maybe let's have a quick look at Living Sky. So, so here we are in Reaper. Um, we've got a, a small session put together. And as you can see, each of these tracks on the left correspond. Each of these tracks on the left correspond with the inputs that we have um, coming into Living Sky. So there's a lot of inputs there, right? Yeah, 64 inputs. Yeah. 64 inputs, 36 outputs, um, and um, yeah, you can assign them in many, many different ways for um, spatial and immersive uh, mixing. But all of this stuff is controlled like a normal VST, but it's also controlled by uh, this visual engine here. So if I play back, if I play back, uh, each of these are the sound sources that we were looking at on the visual engine there. And if we click on a sound source, uh, you can see that it's movable within the 3D space. And um, you can also assign its bus here as well. So we could, we could for example, change the bus of this particular sound source uh, to a different one and that's therefore it's going to change colour. So can you move it a bit more extremely so we can just uh, hear something really radical happening? Yeah, let me see if I think the second the second track was probably which one are we moving there? Yeah, the, one of the, the blue one. So let's go here. Uh, oh, was it that one? Let's try let's try this one. Uh, it might even be worth soloing it. I can hear that panning around very smoothly, and if you move it further away, presumably it becomes more reverberant, right? Yeah, or it will become... I guess it depends where you've got your, your sound sources. But yeah, very much worth listening on headphones rather than listening on your speakers. Yeah, I'm hearing quite a lot of stereo, but we are in a slightly noisy environment, but we'll try it. But yeah. Yeah. So this is all running on GPU, as we mentioned, via your the GPU audio... API SDK, I don't know what it is exactly, but yeah, the platform. So with the with the SDK last year at ADC, we announced uh, the NAM Neural App Modeler, which is where um, Analog X came and contacted us about their next plugin. Right. And this year we're announcing uh, source separation uh, as the, one of the new modules for our SDK. Oh right, so splitting out stems in real time, that kind of stuff. Yeah, real time using the Alacoustics HS Tasnet. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to um, split stems in real time, which is quite. So we, a we didn't look at the Analog X as well, but that. Yeah, let's take a look at the Analog X. So this is Genesis. This is Genesis Pro. Um, we are currently on beta, the public beta phase with this. It's quite close to release now. We're hoping to release this before the end of the year. So um, Genesis is um, hardware modeling, uh, vintage gear modeling uh, system. So it'll. You can have um, your EQs, compressors, uh, mixing engines, mixing desks, classic gear essentially in your DAW uh, modeled. Again, this is running on, on the GPU, so offloading yeah. to the CPU. Off right. the, yeah, I think that was one of the comments that Analog X had with the first version of Genesis was that it's, it, it was using a lot of computational power. So they came to us and uh, we've now enabled them to offload that significantly to the GPU which it speeds up rendering time and it allows you to allocate your CPU to other things within, uh, within right. your Right, and that's flow. available for public beta. If I hold it here, then maybe people will be able to... Yeah, public to beta, um, 
right now and then hopefully release before the end of the year. Um, so Analog Genesis Pro will be $89.99 when it's released. Right. Um, uh, which will give you five packs with the plugin as well. So you'll, you'll have your own vintage hardware and equipment as a pack to go with it. So you get five with, with the purchase of Genesis and what's Pro. What, I mean, what kind of uh, efficiency do you get on a, I don't know, I mean, I guess it's sort of reasonably standard uh, laptop. You know, what kind of, do you get higher instance counts as well or is it more to do with efficiency? Yeah, well, I mean, you, I think you just get more processing headroom, really, with, with, with the GPUs. But you can see what we're supporting here. You know, the GTX 1, 1000 is a reasonably old uh, GPU from NVIDIA. Um, you can see we're supporting M1, M2, M3, and M4. Um, yeah, I just that just correlates to how much you can process, really, however... however I guess the thing is, mo I mean, most of the time, most laptops are not using much of their GPU unless you're gaming or running multiple screens. Absolutely or whatever, not. So no, I mean, that, dormant. yeah, this three, this is an NVIDIA 3080 machine here. Pretty decent GPU, um, but yeah, completely redundant without GPU technology. You know, if you're using Ableton or you're using any DAW, any particular plugin, the GPU is doing nothing. So um, yeah, it's amazing. Worth offloading. Okay, so the, both of the uh, is is this guy available now or what's uh... again? This one is in beta phase, so we're hoping to release this before the end of the year. Uh, Living Sky is much more of a premium product, so it is aimed at the immersive industry, right. video gaming it's industry. And whatnot, so yeah. it will be it will be more expensive than uh, Genesis Pro, but um, I'm not sure exactly how much the prop cost is at the moment. Keep an eye out. So I guess if I do another scan of this, people could know. Yeah, that's for the SDK, and um, we're also in discussions with hardware manufacturers. We have a few NDA signs with diff other companies. Uh, including hardware manufacturers, which, which for me personally is really exciting to see the GPU used in you know, real-world equipment. Right. Um, and yeah, there are many other companies who are interested in our NAM modeling, and ho we're hoping with the source separation stuff that we're going to release uh, very, very soon for our SDK, uh, we're going to have more interest then. And I guess offloading that to the GPU, is that what sort of latency are we talking? Is it kind of like real-time, real-time, or sort of real-time 150 milliseconds or whatever? <laughs> I mean, I guess, could you, could you demix in real-time through it? I'm sorry, so I'm thinking... I think that's what it is. I think it's... I, if there's, a, there's a paper on it by L Acoustics, which people can find out all the information about HS Tasnet, but we are as close to, as close to uh, you know, like five or less milliseconds of latency. Wow, okay, GPU, that's impressive. Real time. So yeah, lots of, there are lots of stem separation, source separation stuff out there, but we're hoping to do it as it happens, which right. is hopefully quite revolutionary. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you.